Welcome back everyone, Nem here, and I'm just going to be playing with some 3.0 RG Cycle again, because you guys love seeing this deck, so this guy's going for a Mighty Miner in the back, and um, totally fine here, so you know, he's got the Skeleton Barrel plus the Mighty Miner, and I think, yeah, this definitely has to be the, um, the deck that I actually posted yesterday, it's like that Royal Recruit spam deck with all this bait stuff in it, so... This matchup, I don't know exactly whose favor it is in. If he has arrows, it's it might be my matchup because I can stack hunters on defense. But like if he has fireball, it gets pretty tough because fireball does a lot better job at destroying my troops on the defense. So like, yeah. But um, he's going for a goblin gang. I could just go for an electro spirit plus skeletons right here, just for a little extra defense, and everything should be good to go in general. So, yeah. He's going for a Skeleton Barrel. I could just go for my Royal Ghost right here. Because I think he's a little low on Elixir. I could just go for my Log as well. And, okay, so he's going for Goblins. Good play on his end. The Goblins definitely clutch up right there on defense. Which is a little annoying, but he's also going for Wall Breakers. So my Fisherman plus Electric Spirit should clean it up. And, yeah. Let's see what he wants to do for this Fisherman, though. He's going for a Dark Goblin, totally fine, so I could just like wait a little bit and then play Skeletons for the Dark Goblin. So um, I should only take one shot. Yeah, there it is, just one shot, but you know, it's not the end of the world. He's going for a Goblin Gang split in the back, so I could just go for a Royal Ghost. Okay, this guy's getting pretty aggressive here. So let's see, I'll just go for a Log right here. He's going for a Mighty Miner, I could just go for a Hunter in the back, and this is when I'm going to try to like stack my defense a bit and try to go for counter pushes so let's see i'm just kind of cycling things in the back at the moment and he's going for royal recruits so this might be a little sketchy he's going for a dark goblin i tend to log the dark goblins like all the time because i think it's like the best play you can do because if you just let the dark goblin sit there um they just destroy your defense pretty much so yeah Okay, that was a really nice defense, so I'm going to go for a Royal Giant, and even if he goes for Royal Recruits, it's not that bad for me, just like that, because my Hunter and, like, my Ghost should clean up most of the Recruits so he can't get a counter push to begin with, so, like, that's also a pretty good tip, like, you can make pretty big pushes with RG if you already have, like, a Ghost plus, like, Hunter on the map. I'm just going to go right back in because it's a pretty solid play in general. I feel like... Yeah, he doesn't have that much elixir, so um, it's overall really good play. He can't punish me for it. And I'm going to go for a log again, just so I can hit the Mighty Miner plus the Dark Goblin. I'm going to go for a Hunter right here, plus a Royal Ghost with an Electric Spirit on top. And I'm immediately going to go for another Royal Giant again, because I have a Hunter again to splash the Recruits if he does play the Royal Recruits. So, just like that, I could go for a log as well. And... I think that should be game, so um, really, really well played. Let's go for the next match. Here's the next match, and I have a pretty solid hand in general, so... He's going for a Firecracker, I could just go for a Log. I don't want to cycle a Hunter on that because it's not the play, and I just want to keep Hunter in hand, and I want to try to get King activation. He's going for a Mega Knight in the back though, so um, overall... This is a very, very solid start for me already by having King Activation and knowing this guy has a Mega Knight, so my defenses should be really, really stacked for this matchup. And yeah, I could go for my Fisherman right here for the Mega Knight, just to pull it. He's got a Lightning, that is crazy, so I have to go for my Royal Ghost right here because I don't want to take like a jump shot from the Mega Knight. And yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what else he has because obviously he's playing a really off meta deck with like the Mega Knight Lightning, so... He's got an Electro Wizard. Okay. He's also going for a Leap Barbarian, so I'll just cycle a Log plus a Hunter with an Electro Spirit. He's going for a Rage, so I could just cycle Skeletons, and I'm immediately going to follow up with a Royal Ghost because he does not have that much Elixir. Like, he used Mega Knight, or he used Elite Barbarians, but he doesn't have enough Elixir for a Mega Knight. And yeah. I also took a Fireball on top of that... Inferno Dragon because he can't really punish me in general for it like we're both on the same amount of elixir essentially so like he can't really capitalize on it so yeah kind of just resetting here and yeah that's basically it just resetting for a little bit seeing what he wants to do um he's going for a Mega Knight in the back I'll just go for a Royal Giant this may look like a pretty interesting play because I'm running this 
like Royal Giants into Omega Knights, but it's honestly not that bad of a play because I do have the King activation. Like if I did not have the King activation, I would not have done that play. But since I do have King activation, my defenses should be pretty simple to defend for the most part, as long as I have like good micro interactions. So I'll go for a Electro Spirit right here, plus a Hunter as well. I'm not going to allow that. I don't want to overcommit too much. And I'm going to take a good amount of Elite Barbarian damage right here. But, you know, it really does not matter. He's not going to 3 crown me anyway. So that was overall a really nice defense. And that was a terrible Mega Knight as well. So I can just go for my Royal Ghost. I will Fireball that Firecracker. And um, I don't think I need to play anything for that Mega Knight as well. So, yeah. My Ghost does take the tower as well. So this is looking so phenomenal. Really interesting Elite Barbarians. I could just go for Skeletons right here. I can also go for an Electric Spirit as well with a Fisherman down low to kite more. And he's going for... Wow, that was like so aggressive. That was Ton Elixir with the Infernal Dragon plus the Lightning. So, um, yeah, he can't really do much anymore. That is a really, really solid match. I played that extremely well. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump for the next game. Here is the next match. And let's see here. So, he's going for a Royal Ghost in the back. I'll just go for my Hunter in the back. I didn't want to play like a fisherman because, you know, with any of these decks going around, I'm kind of scared of like he had like a giant skeleton or like an electro, yeah, electro giant or something. So yeah, I just didn't want to take the risk. But uh, let's see, he's got a queen as well with an electro spear, so that's six elixir right there. And let's see, he's going to pop the ability. I'm gonna go for a royal giant, and this should be a pretty fine RG. Okay, so he's got elite barbarians as well. Okay. Um, I'll go for my Electro Spirit. I should only take one Queen Shot. I'll go for my Fisherman plus some Skeletons to, you know, kite these Elite Barbarians. That was a pretty bad log on his end as well, so, um, everything is actually looking pretty solid for me at the moment. And I'm kind of tempted to honestly just go for, like, a Ghost at the Bridge right here because, um, he really does not have a good cycle. He just used Elite Barbarians and, um, he only has, like, Royal Ghost, right? Like, see, he has a Ram Rider that. That is exactly what I'm talking to you guys about. He had a really awkward hand, and I'm going to do a little heads up play right here. I'm actually going to eat this entire Royal Ghost damage because he played 8 Elixir right there with the Royal Ghost plus the Grand Rider. And like he's playing Firecracker with the Log right there, so he has no Elixir for the Elite Barbarians. And the only time you can really strike in this matchup is if he doesn't have enough Elixir for Elite Barbarians. So that's why I just ate the Royal Ghost so I can pretty much just like destroy him right there and i'm gonna get free king activation as well from this electro spirit and gonna give me a little bit of a counter push as well so this might actually take the tower like i played that sequence so phenomenal um everything is just looking so good and right here i could just go for some skeletons on top of the royal ghost for a pretty solid defense and i just gotta defend for the next minute which i should be able to do with no problem at all so yeah I'll go for a Hunter right here on defense and kind of just stall out essentially, stall out for the next 50 seconds and let's see, I'll go for a Fisherman right here, I'll definitely take the Fireball on top of that Firecracker plus the Elite Barbarians, I'll go for some Skeletons as well and I'll go for a Royal Ghost, so yeah, he's going for a Queen right there, I could just go for another Hunter again, he's going to pop the ability, totally fine, I'll go for an Electric Spirit plus a Log. Oh wow, the E-Spear hit the Firecracker, so yeah. This is so good. That was like so well played. I'm just going to play a Fisherman right here. And he actually plays Elite Barbarian, so that was actually pretty nice. And, you know, this is looking good. You know, this is a pretty much a sealed match. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to go for a Royal Ghost right there. And kind of just wait it out. He's going for a Lightning, does not matter one bit. And that is going to be a really nice game. Let's go for the next match. Here is the next match, and it is against Viral, so let's see what he's got for me. Okay, so that is actually pretty crazy. Um, I have to go for my Hunter plus my Fireball. That should negate any damage. Perfect. That was a really nice defense. And um, I think this might be 2.6. So, uh, believe it or not, this matchup really actually is not that good for the RG player. Because um, they have a really, really time or easy time defending with the musketeers plus the cannons and they have a, like a really fast cycle so they could just like cannon stack or musketeer stack stuff like that and they also make like offensive pushes like he did in the beginning with like an ice skull and plus hog rider push so it's like really difficult to get the king activation um with your fishermen so yeah 
like just like that i can't really get the king activation that easily so it's really annoying okay that was a really nice log though okay that gets me a good amount of damage from that hunter that's actually really nice but yeah so like the game plan though is to pretty much try to bait out the ice golem which he actually played the ice golem right there so I could go for an RG in the back now, knowing that he can't do an Ice Golem plus Hog Rider push. So, that is like the main thing you want to look out for. Is like, if you want to RG the back, you got to make sure that his Ice Golem is out of rotation and you have a Fisherman in hand so that if he plays a Hog Rider by itself, like he's kind of doing right now, I have no problem getting King Activation anymore. I'm going to go for a Log right here. And, uh, so yeah, that is King Activation right there. He just used Ice Golem again, which is like a good play on his end, but... I could take that into account that uh, for the time being he does not have an Ice Golem again. So right here, I could just go for another Royal Giants because I kind of feel like I might have done some good out cycling. He goes for a Log. He goes for Skeletons. Okay, so yeah, now he's back to Cannon. So he cycled back to Cannon pretty fast. Um, I could just go for Royal Ghost because he just used Ice Golem. And Ice Golem is his best answer to the Royal Ghost. So yeah, my Royal Giant does get some good damage right there. I'm going to go for a Hunter right here, and let's see, I'll go for some Skeletons, just in case he wanted to play a Hog Rider. I'm going to go for an RG in the back right here, and yeah, he's going for an Ice Golem plus a Hog Rider right there, so I could just go for a Log, and um, I might take some damage here for sure. I definitely have to go for a Hunter, and um, I'm going to go for an Ice, or not an Ice Golem, a Royal Ghost, and let's see here. I think I'm going to go for Electric Spirit to Prediction his Skeletons. Okay, that was really nice. That was actually super clutch. I'm going to go for a Royal Giants right here. He's going for a, a Hog Rider right there. Oh my gosh, he just missed his cannon. I'm going to go for a Fireball right here. Wow, okay, I thought that log would actually pull the RG into the cannon, but it doesn't even do that. <laughs> so, uh, dude, that was actually so nice. That was super helpful at the end. Um, That's going to go ahead and be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more videos in the future.